What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and we got a couple things that we have to talk about in this video. Um, some big news, some big news has happened, um, you know, in my Clash of Clans life, you know, what, what's going to be happening to the YouTube channel. Uh, you guys probably already have an idea of what we're going to be talking about, you know, just by looking at the thumbnail. We'll go ahead and get some attacks in the background for you guys. There was a couple maintenance uh, breaks already. Luckily, none of the replays... <clears throat> have gotten wiped yet, so just go ahead and put some attacks in the background, and do not worry, I will be doing a full recap of this war, uh, but yes, Forbidden did go ahead and get the victory, we'll just go ahead and start off down here at the bottom, uh, so in the last, well, in less than 24 hours, um, something something big happened, you, you might have seen it on Twitter, you might have seen it on Discord, for those of you that don't have either one of those, and just get, you know, your, your Clash content, I guess, uh, from the channel, uh, I definitely want to be the first one to let you know that I am no longer in Forge from Steel. So we'll go ahead and cover, you know, what's going to be going on with Forge from Steel going forward. What's going to be going on with the YouTube channel uh, going forward. What, you know, am I still going to be uploading videos? What clans am I in? You know, that kind of thing. Uh, so we definitely want to go ahead and touch uh, each one of those subjects. So just to start off with Forge from Steel... Because there's already been, you know, some negativity. There's already been, you know, some shit talking. Uh, but I am here to definitely tell you guys that Fortune Steel is still going to be, uh, you know, competing in Premier. You know, they're not, you know, they're, Fortune Steel is not rip. You know, they're not, uh, you know, going to be dropping from the league, dropping down. You know, nothing like that. You know, I've heard quite a few things. Uh, but they are still going to be in Premier competing, uh, you know, through the season. Um, so I definitely want to get that out of the way. The clans that I am in are the clans that I've, I guess, been in. Um, you know, I had three accounts that I played mostly. I had one in Forbidden, one in FYSB, and then one in Forge from Steel. So my Town Hall 10 is now going to be playing in FYSB. Um, and I have a Town Hall 9 there as well. And then I have, uh, my, I guess you could say my main Town Hall 9 in Forbidden, so that hasn't changed. Uh, of course, the question everyone's going to be asking is, why uh, did you leave? You know, why did you leave Forge from Steel? You know, some so, uh, some people knew it was coming or had an idea it was coming. Uh, you know, it may come as a shock to, to many others, so I'll go ahead and get into that. Um, so, I mean, I, I'm definitely not going to sugarcoat, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm going to do my best, uh, you know, just to say it like it is. Um, but you guys have to understand that this is a game. I know often, more often than not, uh, playing at the competitive level, people forget that it's a game. And you, when you play a game, you need to be having fun playing that game, especially when you play at this level with the countless hours that goes into it. I mean, from the planning to the base building, um, to, you know, playing on, you know, not only playing Clash of Clans, uh, Clash of Clans, but playing on Discord, uh, you know, farming, you know, doing the war attacks, uh, and especially somebody in my case who is a YouTuber, that is even more time, more hours on top of all the, imagine all the hours you play the game and then add, uh, being in leadership in case you're not in leadership, imagine being in leadership, trying to help lead a clan. And then on top of that, um, you know, imagine making videos, you know, trying to upload a video every single day. Um, you can only imagine how much time and, and dedication goes into it. And when you, when you lose that fire, when you lose that drive and you're no longer having fun, everything just becomes that much harder. Uh, and that is, that is the point that I got to, I just plain and simple was no longer having fun in fortune steel. I have seen literally hundreds and hundreds uh, of people come and go from that clan. It's definitely not the same clan. Uh, and, and many of the, well, we only have a couple of original members, honestly, uh, that were there from like the beginning, like even the first 10 wars, there's only, I don't know, three or four people maybe. So we've had hundreds of people I've seen come and go. Some people I don't even remember. Some people, uh, were very, very close and that, you know, I'm, I'm still close within this game. Um, but it, to me, it was, it just was not the fortune steal that 
I envision, that I hope for. I don't, I don't just mean, you know, uh, I mean, I don't just mean like what I hope for as being like the best clan in the world. Um, but I mean, just what we had originally designed for from steel to be, you know, we literally started off with like straight up 50 people who were all friends that all knew each other, who had all played this game together. And then you start seeing, you know, you know, this group of people leave. Okay. Rebuild, you know, then you see this group, this group of people leave, then you try to rebuild that, you know, now half, you know, you have maybe half the members and then, then you have, you know, uh, you know, another big group of people take off, you know, people dropping off here and there for their own reasons. Then you've, you know, try to fill that void, you know, with more people that you don't really know. And it just got to the point to where, I mean, you know, you look around, it's like, fuck, what do we have here? We have like PSC and, you know, like Ozil. I, I think, I think those are the only, you know, remaining like original straight up, you know, OG people who were there when, you know, we started the clan. Which is not what I had envisioned uh, FFS to be, um, you know. So the turnover rate was, you know, definitely killer. I do want to do a quick sidebar, just a real quick sidebar. I'll be doing my shout outs, but I do want to give a big shout out to everybody over in Dark Avengers who who came over. I mean, Forge from Steel. For those of you guys that don't know, we were pretty much going to be a dead clan. I mean, we were pretty much done. Like FFS was was literally going to be toast. Uh, we had so many people leave after our invite season. Uh, and that was really, really tough trying to figure out what we were going to, do, how, you know, can we keep, you know, Forge from Steel alive? Um, you know, especially with the season we had an in invite in season three. Um, so anyway, I do want to give a big shout out to the leadership and a lot of the members over in Dark Avengers who pretty much saved Forge from Steel. Um, who allowed Fortune Steel to even be able to compete uh, in season four uh, in Premiere? Without DA, Fortune Steel would not even exist right now. Um, at least competitively, maybe we'd be doing like twenty, you know, twenty v twenty wars, you know, you know, something like that. But we would definitely would not be able to compete competitively. We've taken way too many losses. Um, not too sure if, if you know, you know what it was. You know what makes a a clan um, successful and fun and all that stuff, you know, it's, it's just, it's just really, really hard. And it just got to the point to where I was not having, you know, fun anymore, you know, you know, from activity, you know, to, to the, <clears throat> to lack of activity, to the lack of planning, to, um, you know, just, just, something not being there, just not having the drive, just not having that chemistry anymore. Uh, it was my, you know, it was, it was my time, you know, to pack my bags and take off. Uh, I want to let everybody know that, um, but you know, fortune still is still going to be around. There's still going to be a strong clan. Um, you know, and, and, you know, the, you know, some of the shit talking about, you know, how I'm, I'm bailing on them and, you know, you know, how could you, you know, like I already said, no one, Nobody and anyone can in Fortune Steel past and present can, um, you know, will agree to what I'm going to tell you guys. No one has put more time, you know, more hours into Fortune Steel than I have, plain and simple. So for the people saying, uh, you know, that, that I bailed out, you know, that I didn't give them, you know, a chance, you know, that, you know, I, you know, I should have waited and, you know, you know, how could, you know, how could he do this? Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's bullshit. I've been there through all the ups and downs from the beginning over a year. I think we, I think the clan was created back in January. Uh, you know, so well over a year, you know, had I, have I been there? Was that three, what, three CWL seasons? Um, so, uh, just definitely want to squash that. Cause that, that is bullshit. You know, all these videos, uh, with the exception of, I'd say the last few months, um, have been forged from steel videos. Um, and you know, as, as far as, so I definitely want to get that out of the way. As far as what's going to happen with the channel, another thing you guys have to understand is when, when I first started this YouTube channel, it was just going to be, uh, for fortune steel. That's it. It was just going to be for Fortune Steel. I, I I didn't think we'd make it over, you know, 50, you know, maybe maybe 60 subscribers. You know, just showing 
support from Steele's attacks, you know, you know, documenting them, you know, recording them, uh, you know, for the people in the clan. Never once did I think we would be sitting at what? Uh, 4,000, was it 4,600 something subscribers, almost 5,000 subscribers, you know, starting not only the clan from nothing, but the channel from nothing. Um, and obviously, you know, now I have a YouTube channel that has, you know, a, a FFS brand attached to it. So is the name of the channel going to change? I would say a hundred percent. Absolutely. Uh, eventually it's going to change. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, damn, I really like that intro too. That honestly really sucks, but I don't know what it's going to be. What the, what the, uh, name of the channel is going to be. I definitely want to change it. Um, that was my mistake for actually branding it to, uh, you know, to brand a YouTube channel straight up you know, attach that to a clan, uh, you know, uh, definitely let it be a lesson, you know, to other people. If you're going to, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and, and if you're playing Clash of Clans or even, you know, I don't know, even playing like, I don't know, an, another game or something, um, do not attach it to the actual game itself. Um, you know, whether it's Clash of Clans, whether it's, you know, PUBG or Clash Royale, you know, those kinds of things, because you, right away you, you're you limiting yourself. You know, when you look at like, you know, uh, Power Bang or Klaus or Galadon, Chief Pat, look at all the biggest YouTubers, uh, mult, you know, and, you know all, all these multi-million or several hundred thousand, I should say, uh, several hundred thousand and up, you know, bigger, you know, bigger YouTubers, um, None of them have a, a YouTube channel attached to anything particular. You know, they have gaming at the end. You know, they have, uh, um, you know, or you know, just just their their channel name itself. I'm so I I did a double whammy. That's two strikes to me. So not only do I have clashing in the name, limiting myself to Clash of Clans, uh, I also have. FFS, which is limiting me, uh, to a clan. Uh, so definitely for anybody who's thinking or aspiring to be an upcoming YouTuber, do not limit your channel name to, you know, the, the content you can create. It's going to make it that much more difficult. Luckily, I don't know how many, I know you have at least one. It's kind of, it's kind of like Clash of Clans. I think you can get like one, uh, YouTube name change. This is where the subscribers, you know, and the fans of the channel, uh, where I, I'm asking for your guys' help. You know, I definitely want to change the name to the channel. So, of course, down in the comment section, uh, let me know what you think that should be. But, you know, of course, when I first started the channel, I did not think at all. Uh, beautiful attack uh, right here uh, from who is this? <laughs> from AMZ. Um, uh, I'd never thought ever we would make it you know, over 50 or, you know, even 60 subscribers. Um, now that we have, now that we have grown, um, you know, to, uh, to this point, and of course me no longer being in Forge from Steel, we definitely have to, you know, basically re, I mean, not, not, not necessarily rebrand. I mean, all this stuff, I mean, we're still going to have the content we have right now. Um, you know, we still have all, you know, all the subscribers, all that good stuff. Uh, we definitely have to rebrand the name of the channel, uh, you know, which is where I want, um, you know, you guys to come in. So any, any, co obviously comments, questions or concerns down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think we should be changing the name uh, of the, ch of the channel to be. I would definitely appreciate it. And I'll probably get a kick out of some of the, uh, uh, some of the comments and ideas. Um, yeah, please let me know. Fortune Seal is strong. I'm still going to be playing the game. Uh, still going to be uploading videos. You know, I'm, I'm in Forbidden. I'm in FYSB. Nothing but best of luck. I mean, straight up from the heart. Nothing but best of luck to everybody in Fortune Steel. Um, the clan is still strong. You know, they still have a strong leadership team. Uh, they're still at, you know, they're, they're, they're in Premier, still able to compete. Um, and make it to the playoffs. I mean, they, they could win the whole thing. I mean, you never know. Uh, but nothing but the best of luck to them. Uh, obviously, I still know a lot of the people that are over there. So I definitely want to give uh, all of them a big shout out. Big shout out. <clears throat> big shout out.
big shout out to all the subscribers. Uh, again, could not do this without you guys. All the love and support. I do appreciate it. But yeah, we, we still will be uploading. Um, but that is going to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Probably went a little bit longer uh, than I wanted it to. Um, but yeah, thank you for being there. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.